Are you ready for one of the best chances to see a shooting star this year? I'm 5 News Chief Meteorologist Matt Standers. Get ready for mid-December. Coming up, we've got the Geminids Meteor Shower, one of the best ones. We've got lots of shooting stars expected in the night sky. It all comes from the constellation Gemini. That's generally where we look in order to see some of the shooting stars. Now, the meteor shower itself is caused by the asteroid Phaethon, 3200 Phaethon, that just zooms about 80,000 miles across the sky. And as it's going across our night sky here in December, that's when we see the shooting stars. But generally, you look towards the Geminids. Three, two, one. Are you ready for one of the best chances to see a shooting star out of the whole year? I'm Fine News Chief Meteorologist Matt Standards. In mid-December, we usually get the Geminids Meteor Shower, which is known as one of the best ones that we have throughout the whole calendar year, just because there's going to be so many shooting stars, possibly, if you're looking in the right spot. So generally this time of year, we got to watch out for the asteroid Phaethon, 3200 Phaethon, that zooms about 80,000 miles across the night sky. But generally, that starts to produce the comet, shooting stars, all that stuff that we see here on Earth but it looks like they're coming from the constellation Gemini. Gemini twins, you see the twins kind of on their side? Got the heads here towards the left, got their bodies, got the legs here. Both legs are kind of uh, silted off towards the side and then they got their arms, looks like they're kind of holding hands, but you got the Gemini twins. Well, we got the Geminids meteor shower because it looks like they're kind of coming from the Gemini twins. Now, every December, we get this meteor shower, but it peaks usually right in the middle of the month. Now, technically, you could see a meteor shower from the Geminids anywhere from December 1st all the way to the end of the year. But generally, right smack dab in the middle of the month is when we get the peak. Well, how many shooting stars are possible and where should we even look? Well, generally, right there after sunset, you're going to want to look in the eastern sky. That's where the Gemini constellation first starts to appear. That's what's called the radiant, where it looks like the shooting stars are kind of coming from. It starts in the eastern sky and then right around midnight, one, two o'clock, it's going to be directly above your head. And then before sun rise, it'll be in the western sky. So it does a complete full arc. So the Gemini constellation is really easy to find and see in the night sky throughout the winter months. But we could have up to 120 meteors per hour. Now you may not see every single one of them, but there could be several of them that make appearance as you just look up in the night sky. December is also a great month in order to see shooting stars just because you've got more darkness. It's the darkest month of the year, but a couple caveats. Of course, it's cold in December, so not everyone wants to hang outside and watch the meteor shower unless you're a little bit farther south. And then second, in December, we tend to get a lot more clouds across the northern hemisphere. We've got the winter months, the jet stream and the subtropical jet. They, they start to come in together and they produce a lot of storm systems going from west to east. And with those systems, you get a lot of clouds. So if you've got clear sky, you've got a good chance to see some meteor showers coming up in mid-December. Just look for the Gemini twins and you'll likely find a shooting star.